Karen Armstrong and today we're making Italian wedding soup without the wedding. I want to introduce you to some of the ingredients. The first thing we're going to do is start with our meatballs and then we will set them aside. But let's look at what's going into our meatballs. It's all good for you. All right, we're going to add two eggs scrambled to, uh, this is ground turkey. I rarely use um, red meat, so I've substituted the original recipe for ground turkey. Always feel free to do that. We have about three quarters of a cup of chopped onions, a cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm going to mince the garlic and put about two to three tablespoons of garlic in there. That's really to taste. Three quarters of a cup of all natural breadcrumbs. This is fresh parsley. I'm going to mince that up and throw it in there. We have um, ground oregano, just a teaspoonful hiding down there. And then we also have dried basil. All of this is going to mix together in the meat to make it beautifully seasoned. Okay, let's get cooking. And we're ready to add all of our ingredients to make the meatballs. In goes the egg. Yummy garlic, I've minced this all up. About three tablespoons full. We have a teaspoon of the base, uh, teaspoon of the basil. And we have a teaspoon of the ground oregano. I'm going to put in about three quarters of a cup of the Parmesan. Three quarters of a cup of the breadcrumbs. Our fantastic fresh basil. Well, that's about mm, half a cup. A little secret ingredient. I love my nutmeg. I'm just going to throw in about half a teaspoonful of the nutmeg. Just to taste. Okay. Mix all of this up. You know what my kids like to do? I'm going to take a lesson from them. Let's take off the ring. Let's use our hands. Remember preschool? This is what was fun. And this way, it's faster. You know the consistency. If you need to add a little more of your breadcrumbs to help um, dry up this mixture, then feel free to add them as you need them. Let everything soak together. Ooh, pretty. Okay. Give my hands a rinse and then let's make our meatballs. I'm going to add two tablespoons full of the virgin olive oil to a pan. And I'm not going to turn it on yet. That might be more than two tablespoons, but it's okay. It's all healthy. All right, and then I'm going to just use a tablespoon as a method of creating the right amount and the right size for each of the meatballs. And I'll lay the meatball in the pan, but I'm not gonna turn it on yet. All right? They don't have to be perfect. But all just about the right size. Again, if you have kids, have them help you with this. It's always fun to have kids in the kitchen, and it's a proven fact that if kids actually make it, they're more likely to eat it. Okay, my meatballs are in the pan, and you can see that my parsley is very chunky, but parsley is fabulous. It's actually off the charts with vitamin K. It's an antioxidant and an anti-inflammatory. And once again, having it chunky, I think, is more flavorful than just mixing it all up. 
So let's just rotate our meatballs as they begin to cook, just so they cook evenly. They don't need to be perfect, clearly. <laughs> And I'm going to put this on the back burner on a low heat. And I'm going to show you how to get the broth started. What we're going to do is take low sodium chicken broth and put that in first. This is about 32 ounces. Right there. Then we have our spinach. Our spinach is loaded with iron and potassium. We're going to add carrots, celery. Remember, celery has a wonderful calming um, sensation with the body, calms the nerves. And then our potatoes. These are our red potatoes, so they're loaded with uh, vitamins and nutrients, especially vitamin B, and it raises the serotonin in our brain, making us happy. Okay, so uh, let's just bring our broth to a boil, and then we will layer these other vegetables in there. Okay, our broth is boiling. So let's put ooh, our potatoes in first. Potatoes take a little bit longer to cook. Let's add that. Carrots are the other very dense vegetable that takes a long time to cook. So once again, let's bring this to a boil. And then the last thing we're going to layer in is about two cups of spinach, not the whole thing. Just about two cups. See our meatballs on the back? They're sizzling. Sizzling right up. So all those meatballs are cooking. Our veggies are cooking. We can add some Himalayan sea salt. This is actually a very natural salt. And usually I recommend that you only do this to taste, but I'm going to add some to the chicken broth. Just a little bit. Because the chicken broth can be bland. Let's add some ground pepper as well. Ground pepper is an antioxidant. Wonderful, wonderful spice. Add a little more. There we go. And this way the broth is nice and seasoned. Bring this to a boil. Almost done. Our veggies have been boiling. I'm going to take about two cups worth of fresh spinach and just layer it right in there. There we go. If you want to have soup and salad night, you can use the rest of the spinach and make a delicious salad. We'll do that next. The spinach gets nice and wilty with a hot broth and it just relaxes right into the other vegetables. spices that we had in our meatballs, all of those are going to be infused into this vegetable broth. And because I use ground turkey instead of red meat, I recommend that you cook your ground turkey about 10 to 15 minutes longer than you cook your red meat. Because it's a poultry, it requires a little more attention to make sure that they're done. and let this just simmer maybe another 10 to 15 minutes. This gives you an opportunity to get your table set and get ready for your family. Our Italian wedding soup is done. Oh, it smells and looks so good. Now that's an Italian meatball. Mama doesn't do anything small. Mm, mm, mm. Let's do one more. Now, to garnish this awesome soup, you can just tear up a little bit of parsley if you like. 
maybe right over the meatball, as if it didn't have enough already, right? Over the potato. And then just a little bit of Parmesan. Italian if we didn't have an Italian wine. So, just a little bit of a nice dark Italian wine to complement your meal. So we can eat well and be well. Salute.